Okay, so let's get started with our review of logic. And we'll begin with the definition. In logic, or mathematics, a statement is a sentence that is either true or false but not both. So let's look at some examples. Consider the sentence every continuous function is differentiable This is a statement and is a false statement. So now consider the statement the set, or correction of the sentence, the set of integers is countable this is also a statement and is in fact a true statement So now consider the sentence x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now as it stands without a quantifier or qualifier, this is not a statement. Since it is both true and false depending upon x if x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 3 then it's true otherwise it's false. Now we can make a statement using equations. For example, we can have the statement x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 whenever x is equal to 2 and this statement is a true statement. Now, just as sentences can be combined with connectives, so two statements can be combined. With connectives, some of the more common ones are and or, if, then, and if, and only if, so, new definition. A statement without 
a connective. is called a prime statement. A statement with a connective is called a composite statement. So new definition, let P be a statement The negation of the statement P is the logical opposite of the statement P. That is the opposite truth value of the statement P and is denoted this way, and this is read not P. Now one way to illustrate the cases for the truth values of a statement when the truth values are not known, the specific truth value is not known, is by means of a truth table. Now, a given statement can be either true or false. So, if the statement P is true, then the negation of P is false. And if the statement P is false, then the negation of P is true. So let's look at some examples. Let P be the statement that every continuous function is differentiable. Then the negation of P is the statement that not every continuous function is differentiable. So next, let P be the statement that the set of integers is countable. Then the negation of P is the statement that the set of integers is not countable. Or, since the opposite of countable is uncountable, we could say that the set of integer integers is uncountable. In the first example, the statement P, every continuous function is differentiable, is false. And so the negation of the statement P, not every continuous function is differentiable, is true. 
And in the second example, the statement P, the set of integers is countable, is true. And so the, neg the negation of P, that is the set of integers is uncountable, is false. So new definition, let P and Q be statements. The statement P and Q is called the conjunction of P and Q and is denoted this way. The conjunction of P and Q is true precisely when both P and Q are true and is false otherwise. So let's look at the truth table for a conjunction. Now given two statements that we are joining for the connective each of the component or constituent statements can be either true or false and so there are two to the power of two or four cases the statement P can be true while the statement Q is true the statement P can be true while the statement Q is false the statement P can be true correction false while the statement Q is true and the statement P can be false while the statement Q is false the conjunction is true whenever both P and Q are true and is false otherwise. So new definition. Once again, let P and Q be statements. The statement P or Q is called the disjunction of P and Q. and is denoted this way. Now the disjunction of P and Q is false precisely when both P and Q are false and is true otherwise. So let's look at the truth table. Two statements, P and Q, and then the disjunction P or Q. Look at the cases true, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. The disjunction is false only when both P and Q are false 
and is true otherwise. So new definition. A statement of the form if P then Q is called an implication or a conditional statement in an implication the first an implication is denoted this way so in an implication If P, then Q the statement P is called the antecedent or hypothesis while the statement Q is called the consequent or conclusion An implication if P then Q is false precisely when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false so let's look at the truth table So once again, an implication is false precisely when the hypothesis is true and the conclusion is false and is true otherwise. Notice that there are two cases for which the hypothesis is false and the uh, correction, the implication is true. The cases for which the hypothesis is false are called vacuously true. cases.